so once again welcome back uh, in the last lecture we had a detailed discussion on the concept of sensitivity and uh, loading effect and in this lecture most probably we are going to finish the static characteristics of an instrument so i think uh, three parameters are left first one is the concept of dead time and dead zone then resolution and at the last we are dealing with scale span and scale range so what is dead time dead time is nothing but the ability of an instrument to take a time uh, in order to move its pointer from its initial position once it is excited by some input quantity or we can say that it is nothing but the time taken by the instrument to move its corresponding pointer from its initial position when it is excited by some known input quantity so that time lag or time delay is nothing but dead time for example if we are having an emitter and uh, let us consider that the dead time of that emitter is say 10 millisecond so this 10 millisecond indicate a time lag or a time delay in that particular span even though this emitter is provided some input quantity the pointer of this emitter will not move from its initial position so i can say that uh, this emitter will take 10 millisecond of time in order to move its pointer from its initial position even though it is excited by some input quantity so this time lag or time delay is nothing but dead time now what is the concept of dead zone dead zone is nothing but the ability of an instrument which we define in terms of a minimum input quantity which is required by that instrument in order to move its pointer from its initial position now what is the meaning of this for example uh, suppose we are trying to measure a current flowing through a circuit with the help of an emitter and uh, let us consider that the dead zone of this emitter is say 10 milli ampere now this 10 milli ampere indicate dead zone of this particular emitter which means if the magnitude of input current or you can say that if the magnitude of circuit current is less than this 10 milli ampere this emitter will not indicate any reflection as an output or in other word i can say that in order to have a faithful operation via this emitter the circuit current must be more than 10 milli ampere that means within the range of 0 to 10 milli ampere this emitter will not indicate any deflection as an output so this range is nothing but dead zone of that particular emitter or graphically we can define this particular concept via the relation between output input curve on y axis suppose i have taken the output of the instrument and on x axis i have taken the input to that particular instrument and normally in the last lecture i told you that if you consider any electrical instrument the input is current and the output is either force or you can say deflection indicated by symbol theta so in this particular case as the dead zone of this emitter is 10 milli ampere that means when the magnitude of input current is 10 milli ampere so in this particular span there will be no deflection generated by that particular emitter and once the magnitude of circuit current is more than 10 milli ampere then there will be a deflection produced by that emitter so this is what a graphical technique to define the phenomena of dead zone so this band is nothing but what dead zone that means if the circuit current is in the range of say 0 to 10 milli ampere it may be anything it may be say 9 milli ampere or it may be say 5 milli ampere in that particular case this emitter will not indicate any output or this emitter will not indicate any response so this 0 to 10 milli ampere indicate the dead zone of this emitter frankly speaking these two properties are undesirable properties of any instrument normally we do not want our instrument to have dead time or dead zone 
because if a instrument has a finite dead time or you can say dead zone that means that instrument will take that much amount of current or that instrument will take that much amount of time to indicate the final response and ideally we do not uh, want our instrument to behave in this particular fashion that means we want our instrument to indicate the response as soon as it is excited by some known input quantity so ideally the value of dead time and dead zone has to be zero but practically because it is made up of some material it must have some finite dead time and dead zone uh, so we can say that practically it should be as low as possible so this is what the concept of dead time and dead zone now what is resolution resolution is nothing but the ability of an instrument to sense and measure the smallest change in the input quantity so what is resolution so resolution is nothing but the ability of an instrument to sense and measure the smallest change in the input quantity so if the instrument is capable enough to sense and measure the smallest possible uh, change in the input quantity and replicate faithful as an output so we can say that that uh, meter has a very high resolution what we can say power there is a difference between resolution and sensitivity sensitivity means what the ability of an instrument to sense the smallest change in the input but here we are defining the ability of an instrument to sense as well as measure the smallest change in the input quantity so the combination of sensing and measuring uh, the smallest change in the input quantity we are defining in terms of resolution uh, mathematically the formula to calculate resolution is given as so resolution is nothing but the ratio of full scale value or you can say full scale deflection of that instrument divided by the total number of division available in that instrument now what is the meaning of this for example let us consider that we are having a voltmeter of say range 0 to 20 volt and the scale of that voltmeter has some division on it like this say 5 say 10 say 15 and finally we are having say 20 so with respect to this voltmeter i can say that the full scale deflection or full scale value of this voltmeter is 20 whole divided by number of divisions available on its scale are 1 2 3 4 so 20 divided by 4 is nothing but 5 so the resolution power of this voltmeter is 5 unit that means this meter is capable to sense and measure accurate, accurately when the input quantity is changed by a unit of 5 which is very very important so this is what about the concept of resolution now the last topic which we are going to cover in this lecture is the concept of scale range and scale span now what is scale range and what is scale span scale range means what it is nothing but the range of given instrument for example if we are having a thermometer which is calibrated for a range of say 200 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius so i can say that the range of that thermometer is from 200 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius that means with the help of this thermometer we are in a position to measure the value of temperature whose magnitude lies in between 200 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius it may be 250 300 350 or even 400 degree celsius but not less than 200 not more than 500 so this defined the range of that particular thermometer now what is scale of instrument mathematically scale of instrument is defined as the difference between the highest possible value and the lowest possible value which we can measure with the help of that particular instrument now what is the meaning of this in this particular case where we have consider a thermometer which is calibrated for a 
scale range of 200 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius so the highest possible value which we can measure with the help of this thermometer is 500 degree celsius and the lowest possible value which we can measure with the help of this thermometer is 200 degree celsius so in this case i can write here scale span is nothing but the difference between highest possible value and the lowest possible value so here it is 500 degree celsius minus 200 degree celsius which is nothing but 300 degree celsius so this 300 degree celsius is nothing but the scale span of this thermometer whereas its range is from 200 degree celsius to 500 degree celsius so this is what the concept of scale range and scale span so in the next lecture we will uh, discuss in detail about the classification of error and their analysis thank you